Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A77 and Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A77 and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 25th of October 2011 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A77. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A77 and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A77. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A77. I purchased the Sony A77 for $500 and it was totally worth it. The camera is great for both stills and film and offers a lot of diversity in what you can shoot. The electronic viewfinder is impressive and the top mounted screen is really handy. It's easy to learn and has a wide range of features to explore. The only downside is the lack of Wi-Fi or NFC, but overall, I highly recommend this camera for someone looking to step up their photography game. I've been using the A65 for a year and recently upgraded to the A77 for its weather ceiling. I'm still learning learning all the functions and getting used to the feel of the camera, but I love that I can use my old Minolta lenses on it. The higher ISO settings work well in low light conditions, and I'm happy with the results. The camera has made my photography journey a great adventure, and I'm now saving up for the lens of my dreams. Thanks Sony for a great couple of cameras. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. I recently replaced my stolen camera with the Sony A6K and I couldn't be happier. The autofocus is lightning fast after a firmware update, the viewfinder is a game changer, and the 24 megapixels allow for serious cropping without losing detail. I'm no pro, but this camera is perfect for me. Highly recommend it to anyone novice or pro. As a beginner photographer, the Sony A6000 has been a great upgrade for my cell phone cameras. The small size and plenty of controls make it easy to use, and the image quality is fantastic. The battery life could be better, and I wish the screen was bigger and had a touch function. Overall, I highly recommend this camera, especially with a fast prime lens instead of the kit lens. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A77, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A6000, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 